Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about controller in WebCenter Sites 12C. Controller is a new feature that has been added in Sites 12C version. It follows model view controller architecture under which presentation logic would be separated from rendering logic. Advantages of controller is that it will reduce coding efforts and increase reusability. Now we will look into some sample tasks which will help you in understanding the concept of controller in WebCenter Sites 12C. The task one is retrieval of header and banner asset ID from home page asset. In this task, the page has two assets attached to it. One asset is header and the another one is banner. So using controller, we will going to retrieve the ID of header and banner. So first open Eclipse and create a new controller. For that, click on the controller button. Select your site. Okay, for our example, we are using Harrison. Keep the package as it is and give the name to your controller. For this example, we are going to use home page controller. Click finish. Verify the creation of controller in your workspace. The controller must be created in WCS underscore controller folder. Open the controller and verify the default code, which would be generated automatically. When you create a new controller, this would be the default code you would get. Since the name of our controller is home page controller, the class name would be the same. And this controller extend by default the base controller, which defines the methods. As you can see, we have do work method, which has two parameters C and CID as required param. Now we are going to write our code in do work method. So in our code, we have map asset page map is equal to new asset reader. This is the prime method for reading the asset. Apart from this, we have navigation reader as well. Then this, the second method, we would use get asset ID, which will take automatically C and C ID of the asset we pass to the controller and would return the asset ID. After that, we use select all. Select all will be used to render all the attribute from the page asset. Then we use read method to read all the attributes. We'll pass this map to the template by using the model. And the variable that we are going to use is called asset page data. After that, go to Eclipse again and click right click on your template and click edit. A pop up box would be open, which has the following screen in that controller would be listed under the controller section. Choose your newly created controller and click submit. Open the template and add the following code. The asset page data is the variable name that we used in our controller. And since the name of our attribute is main header, that's why we would use it to get the header ID. Since we this asset page data dot main header would return as the complete asset ID. If you want only the ID, then you can append dot ID in the in the variable and you would get only the ID. Similarly, you would get type if you append dot type. After that, go to your instance, attach home page layout to your home page and preview it. Kindly note that home page layout is the same template where we have attached our controller. Click view and preview. Once you do that, you would see header ID type and the complete header information printed on the page. So this would verify that the controller has been successfully used and controller has been successfully attached to the template. Now we will put this asset page data dot main header dot ID 
as a parameter to our render call template. This would be help in the further task where we would retrieve the detail in this header that is company name and callers that's a string data in the main header on our page okay once we do that just again preview the page and you would see that there is no effect on the page it means that the render call template called successfully and the cid parameter was passed successfully as well similarly we can get the banner data as well using the same instruction and same line of code now let's see a practical of what we have covered in the presentation for that let's go to the clips and here this is my home page layout so in order to create a controller i would click on this controller button okay as you can see that my site is listed here you can enter your site name as well so for this controller i'll write it as home controller main okay this is my controller name home controller main i click finish and the controller would be created okay you can see that controller would be in the wcs controller oracle wcs sites okay this has been created as i told you the home controller would be the class name as well and it would extend the base controller now we'll paste our code in the controller which would be like this okay so this is my map and this is my reader class and for asset get asset id select all true and read okay this is we are reading all the attribute in the page asset okay save this and right click on the home layout template click edit select your newly created controller and click submit the controller has been assigned to the template after assigning the controller to the template we can use the string to get the page header okay so what we have to do is page asset data is something which we are which is the name of our variable in controller and the page header is the name of our attribute so this would give us the header id of the header attribute okay in order to test this we can go to firefox okay this is our home page and we have assigned home page layout to the page i click save view preview the moment you do that you would get the header id here okay since we get this header id it means that the controller has been successfully integrated so as we can see that we now have the asset id using controllers okay now we go back to the eclipse and we use the same value as our cid and we append dot id in the end this would give us the asset id without any type so once we put this id in the render call template and if we preview the page now okay we put we have put the page header id in the render call template and we will preview the page now as you can see that the id is passed to our page lit header page lit and we are getting the header dynamic on the page okay so the crux is that our controller has helped us to get the harrison header id which is attached to the page and we get the header on our page okay so this is a very typical example of controllers now we will look for the more example where instead of asset id we'll get the value from the page or from the asset using controller so 
the task two would be to render all attribute from header asset. Okay, so in the first task, we have seen how to get asset ID from an asset using controller. Now we will get the string value from an asset using controller. So for the same, again, create a new controller. Same, the site would be Harrison, package would remain oracle.websenter sites controller, and the name would be header controller. You can choose your own name as well. Again, the header controller would be created in the WCS underscore controller folder. Open the header controller and put the same code. What we have put in the home controller main. Just change the name of the map because the variable no name should not be same. So in the first task, our map name was asset page map. Here, our name would be asset header map. Okay, same with the model variable as well. So for this task, our variable would be asset header data. Again, we'll attach this controller to our page lit main header, which is responsible for loading the values of company name and caller string attribute. We attach it using the same procedure that we have seen for the task one. Now, similarly, this time we would use asset header data dot company name. Okay, asset header data dot company name and similarly for callers attribute since our controller is can be used to load all attribute in one single go so we don't need to mention the separate attribute in the controller okay we just so for any attribute that is attached to our asset we can just give the asset header data dot the name of the attribute and since these are string values we don't need to append dot id or dot type okay but for in the case of asset if you want to get the asset ID and asset type, then you have to append it. Okay. Now we'll go to our page again and we'll click view and preview. Once we do that, you can see that the company name and callers at respective locations on the page are dynamic and are rendered through controller. Now let's see this example in practical. Again, click your controller name, click controller and enter the controller name. And the controller, click finish. Controller has been created. Enter your code, right click on the pagelets, append this to the pagelet, click submit. Now go to main header, enter this code here. So as you can see, this asset header data is something which is the name of our model variable. Asset header data is the name of our variable. We use the same variable here. Now we will see the result on our browser. So go to your browser, open the page and click view, preview. Once you preview it, you can see the asset rendered dynamically using controllers. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching this.